It's time for your tea test. And I'm not talking about taste testing a hot drink beverage. Beverage. We're talking about the standard statistical method known as the tea test. And guess what? You can do this test very easily in Python. So stick around because I'm going to show you how. On my channel, I have two different thumbnails that I've been using. One I call the basic thumbnail and the other I call the alternate thumbnail. Each thumbnail has about 25 videos associated with it. So the question is, which group of videos gets clicked on more often? Those with the basic thumbnail or those with the alternate thumbnail? To see, we're gonna run a t-test for comparison of means to compare the mean impression click-through rate, or in other words, compare the percentage of times that people actually click on the thumbnail when they've seen it. Now before we see what the statistics say, I'm curious, what do you think? Which of these thumbnails is better in your opinion? And which one do you predict is clicked on at a higher rate? Let me know in the comments below. But let's get to the statistics to see what they actually say. To get the data, let's go ahead and import pandas as PD. And now from scipy.stats, we'll import ttest underscore ind and I'm also going to import a few other types of t-tests so you can see how they work as well. So t-test one sample, and finally from scipy.stats, import t-test underscore in underscore from stats. And last, I'm just going to import numpy as np. All right, so first let's get our data. This is actual data about these two thumbnails I showed you at the beginning. So let's take a look at this pandas data frame. Okay, you'll notice the two columns we have here. We have the basic thumbnail column, which shows the impression click-through rate as a percentage, and the alternate thumbnail column as well. These were each performed on the same date, and it's a sample of different dates. We want to know overall which thumbnail is better. So first I'm going to show you a matched pair for the differences in the means. I'm going to create an array of the differences between the basic thumbnail and the alternate thumbnail. And we're going to use our statistical methods to see if this mean is different than zero. So we have np.array of the basic thumbnail subtracted off np.array of the alternate thumbnail to create an array of the differences. And now we do t-test underscore one sample and we plug in our difference and we want to see if it's different than zero. So this gives us back a t-statistic and a p-value in a tuple. And you'll notice that p-value is quite small so that means that the difference between the means is significantly different than zero. Here is the documentation on the t-test one sample, so you give it an array A and the population mean. And notice you can give it an access, so you can do this for multiple things at once. Now let's do the two sample t-test for differences in mean, which is probably a little bit more applicable to this because we're comparing two different lists of videos. So we're gonna paste in our two different arrays. And for this first case, we'll say equal variance is true. And all we do, is run that code and you can see if we assume they have equal variance that the p-value is again small you change that the p-value is different but equally small so that seems to tell us that yes there is a significant difference between the basic thumbnail and the alternate thumbnail so here's a look at this documentation you give it two different arrays array a and b again you can specify the axis and depending on what data you're working with, you can tell it if it has equal variance or not as an assumption. Okay, last, we're gonna do that same two sample t-test for difference in means, but this time we're gonna build it from statistics. So this function does the same thing as what we just did, 
but it has this plug-in stats to evaluate it. So what we need to do is get the mean, standard deviation, and number of observations for each thumbnail. So we'll do standard deviation one, and we'll just copy this, change it to STD for standard deviation, and in Python, you want to put DDOF equals one so that it is the unbiased standard deviation. Next, let's do number of observations, which is simply the length of our array. Get rid of the word mean there. And now we have to get the same statistics for our second thumbnail. So we'll paste that in. We'll just change these all to twos. And everywhere we see the word basic, let's change that to alternate. Alternate thumbnail. Okay, now that we have all these statistics, we can run ttest underscore ind from stats, and we'll plug in mean one equals mean one, std one equals std one, and so on and so forth. So like I said before, this is doing the same thing as above, but based on the actual statistics and not the data. We'll say equal variance equals false. Okay, so there it is. And if you look closely, you'll see that our T statistic is in fact the same number as what we got up here, along with the P value. The P value is the same as what we had up there. And we, and we can of course change that to true if we desire. Now let's look at this documentation. Okay, so it gives us that we have to plug in mean one, standard deviation one, number of observations one, basically everything that I plugged in for you. Keep in mind that all of these, including this one, are two-sided t-tests. So if you want to get the p-value for a one-sided, you'd have to divide that by two. So with this information, we can conclude that the average click-through rate between basic thumbnail and alternate thumbnail is different. Now, which one's actually better? Well, it turns out that the basic thumbnail is actually greater than the alternate thumbnail. So that tells me, as a YouTuber, that I should be using my basic thumbnail more because statistically it has been shown to be clicked on at a higher rate than the alternate thumbnail. Now, there could be a lot of confounding factors. For example, the amount of impressions or the types of videos because as I mentioned before there's 25 videos grouped in the basic thumbnail and 25 videos grouped in the alternate thumbnail the difference in the content of these videos could impact the actual click-through rate so there is lots of confounding that could happen here but I hope you get a basic understanding of how you can perform this t-test in Python and view the simplicity of running statistics in Python Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and check out some of these other videos I've done about statistics using Python.